Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. So today's video is, is a bit different. It's a review video and I haven't done a review video before. This is a Spark Checker by Trillium. I think they're called Trillium. And it's spelled S-P-A-R-K, same word, check, and then with an apostrophe R. And I first saw this on the Greasy Shop Rags video. Scott, go check him out. He's a great guy, professional small engine mechanic. And as soon as I saw it, I thought I need it. This is an inductive style spark checker. And all you do is you hook it on to the cable, or the HT lead, pull the engine over, and it will give you a few different lights depending on how the uh, strength of spark is. Now, I've got a very expensive Opima Pet. Uh, it's a 4000 spark tester, and you can hook this up in line, and you can adjust the uh, this little barrel on this side and you open up the gap and you can put more stress on the coil and you can see just how much uh, voltage the coil is producing and that sounds fantastic and it did to me when I first got it but the issue is firstly it can be incredibly difficult to see a very very light blue spark especially on lawnmowers that have a secondary winding of about two and a half thousand ohms of resistance the spark is not strong it's nothing like a chainsaw and then when you do do something like a chainsaw or other two-stroke piece of equipment and you're pulling it over Everything shakes, jiggles, you can't see it. And then you have to be in the pitch black. And then you're chasing your tail to think, have I got spark, have I not got spark? With a lawnmower, you're around the front of the lawnmower and you clip this on. Then you have to go around the back and hold the bale to, to take the kill switch off. You have to pull it over and at the same time you have to kind of look over and everything, sh it's, a, it's a pain in the, yes. So, I saw this spark tester and it's so delightfully simple. What I'll do, let me get my small model engine down because I can show you in great detail with a top-down view. It won't really work with a chainsaw. So we'll do the small engine first, then we'll do chainsaws, whipper snippers, and I've got a few other pieces of equipment outside, and I'll show it to you in use. So all you do is push this little lever forwards, hook it on to the HT lead of the machine you want to test, and the first light that will come up will be red, a solid red, and that's just telling you that it's ready to go. Now on the side here, you can do large engines like vehicles and you can do small engines like OPE. So I've set it on the small setting. I'll talk about what the settings mean and the voltages, but I'll, uh, I'll do that in a second. So engine's on, I'll give it a flick. Have a look at the light and it's telling me that I've got spark. Obviously I know it's got spark, it was running, but proof of concept here, it's green. Now the other delightful thing about this is that doesn't stop until you push this forward. So if you've, if it was just to flash once, well then of course you're not gonna see it from the front of the mower. So you can then walk around the front of the mower and you can say, okay, great, I've got good voltage there, we've got a green light, I know I've got spark, let's move on. I'm not fighting with the tester, I'm not trying to hook things on and get things in the right place and then it's not on the right angle and it's, ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's now uh, quickly go over the different voltages and what the different readings mean. So, you get this little tag with it. If you've got a, uh, a flashing green, you've got good spark. If you've got a red light, it's either bad ignition or it's not set up. It's just in its initial position. Then you have uh, a flashing red, which is low voltage. And again, it tells you what to do or what they advise you do. And if you've got a flashing yellow, it's telling you you've got high voltage. I went onto a website and I was actually able to find what each one of those colors represents in voltage. So if it's solid red, it's less than 200 volts, no spark. If it flashes red, it's 250 to 2,500 volts, and they consider that weak spark. If it flashes green on the OPE, or the outdoor power equipment, small equipment setting, you've got 3,000 to 13,000 volts. And if you have it on the large setting, like vehicles, then you've got 3,000 to 28,000 volts if it flashes green. And then, Flashing yellow on the OPE, small power equipment, it's more than 15,000 volts. And if you've got it on the vehicle setting, it will flash yellow if it's above 33,000 volts. The thing to note that's so useful with this is it will tell you whether you've got problems with the resistor inside the spark plug. And I'll go into a bit more detail in that when we go outside now. So here we have a chipper shredder. Again, really simple. Make sure we're, we've got uh, the kill switch off. Hook it on. Red means it's ready to go. Give it a pull. Straight onto green. I've got good spark. Don't have to worry about it. I don't have to fiddle around, unhook, unplug, check, search, struggle to see a spark. Now let's move on to the mower. Let's spin you around on that one. 
I need to hold the bail, I'll do that in a second. Now you imagine you're working on this with an inline spark tester. You've got to put your spark tester on there, clip it on. I've got to now go hold the bail up, up here. I've got to pull this, I've got to hold the mower steady, I've got to look over and try and see what's going on. It's not gonna happen. And I think anyone that's done that is gonna be aware of how frustrating that is. Now notice the color on the lawnmower. You can actually see, if you look closely, it's flashing yellow. And this happened to me. And uh, I had a look here and yellow says too high a voltage. And it says bag spark plug or broken wire, chain spark plug or check spark plug wire. So now I'll put the inductive spark tester on, spark checker, give it a pull. Now look at the color. I spoke to my friend Kenny from Ken Small Engines. Go check him out as well. And uh, he said, check the resistance of that old plug. I checked the resistance and it was 10,000 ohms of resistance. I checked a new plug, exactly the same plug, but brand new. And it had like some amount of mega ohms. I can't remember, a huge amount more. So that just tells you straight away that uh, yes, it's got spark, but it's actually giving it too much voltage. And that's not good for the coil either. All right, now we've got a piece of two-stroke equipment. Clip it on. Might be a bit trickier to get it in this little gap in here, but we got it. Hook it on there. Make sure we're all good. Give it a pull. Have a quick look. Flashing green means we've got good voltage. So then we've got the Victor Whipper Snipper. I'll just pop the air filter off because it's going to give me a bit more space to get to the H2 lead or the air filter cover. Give her a pull. Again, straight onto green. I know straight away that that's got spark. I don't have to spend five minutes hooking things up, searching, being a contortionist to try and actually view that spark. So of course, like everything, there are advantages and disadvantages as to what this, this can offer you. The advantages we've already been through. It's so convenient, it's so quick, it's so easy, it's so user-friendly and uh, it gives you a lot of information in a very short period of time. It's perfect for anyone that wants to diagnose equipment or a spark issue very quickly and conveniently. The disadvantages, it's very expensive. It's about 100, about 100 Australian dollars. I don't know what that is in US. I'd guess it's about 70 US dollars. So you do have to put a bit of an outlay. But if you are repairing one piece of equipment, you'll cover it back in the, in the first piece of equipment you repair. The second thing is it's not uh, a, a tester that can load an, a, a coil up to really tell you what it can and can't uh, produce in terms of voltage. Whereas the Opima uh, tachometer that you can increase the distance between uh, these two probes, in fact, there's three on here, the, the probes on there, you can have the machine running and you can open it out, 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 out until the engine dies and that will tell you exactly how much voltage the engine or the coil is able to produce. So, do you know, honestly, if I was to have one, I would choose this because it's so convenient, so quick, so easy. I think this together as a pair is a fantastic option. This is quick diagnosis. This is a bit more in depth as to what's going on. The advantage really for this is the fact that you can load the coil up and see what voltage it's producing. Beyond that, it's, it's a pain. It really is a pain. So uh, that's my thoughts on the Trillium USA made inductive style spark tester. I'm, this is not sponsored, they haven't sent it to me, but I just love it so much that I couldn't wait to share it on the channel. So two things, I love it. And the second thing is a shout out to Greasy Shop Rag, which is where I saw this from. And uh, go check his channel out as well. He's a great bloke, Scott. He uh, does lots of top-down views of when he's repairing equipment in uh, the shop that he works at. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed it. Gives you something to think about. And if you're going through the frustrations that I had with the inline testers, oh, it makes life much easier. All right, cheers, guys. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.